everyone. So today we're going to Nimbin. We're going to take some pictures down at the uh, the mountains and the hills there. Go see some caves maybe. And it's about two and a half hours on the bike there. Uh, so we're going to set off. It's about eight o'clock. Slept in a little bit from yesterday. Um, we were both really tired from the journey and just from our legs from walking too much. So a bit of an admin day, spread out a little bit, do some washing and get the of it. Um, and then start today and see what we can see. So we're off we're off to um Nimbin. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, yes. so we're gonna go there for the day. See if we're gonna stay longer. If not, don't know. We'll see. Just filled up. Cost me 109,000. And then uh, we'll see how long it takes us to get there. It uh, says roughly about two and a half hours, but as you know, we like to stop every hour, so it can be a little bit longer. We've been told quite a few times that we should spend more than one day there, so we'll see when we get there how we feel. But we might have to come back. We'll see. Look at all those chickens! There's a duck outside the fence and we're trying to get it back in. We're top people like that. Saving the planet one bird at a time. in Nimbin. Um, so we set up at 10 and it's now 1. It took us 3 hours to get here on the bike. I was just kind of chilling and going nice and slow. We're in the centre of Nimbin now and we're about 30 minutes out from the caves and the tourist areas. So we're going to get some food while we're in town that's a bit cheaper than the tourist areas. And then we're going to head in. We are the only ones here. Yeah. I think we've seen maybe like three ten, groups. yeah, three, three groups, ten people maybe. Really, really quiet. Mm -hmm. You come from the city and you end up on like a back road that takes you through. You go through about five different people down the main street who try to pull you in to park at their bay. But if you just keep going all the way down, especially in the quiet season, oh, you'll get to the very end and then you'll be able to find the park in its nearest and it's only ten. One family, maybe. Nothing. Five hundred steps, here we go.
top. Finally. By the dragon. All the way. Um, it's really hot. There wasn't a lot of people on Newborn, but this one seems to be quite full. Um, but it's so good you can still move around. Worth the views. Top. Um, it's awesome. One side, fine. The other side, um, filled with tourists, as you can see. Um, got a bit dangerous at times. People try to move out the way for the people to take pictures. Um, we're now back at the bottom, a little bit sweaty, checking out the caves. One of the caves is a huge disappointment because it's just a tiger in it that someone put in there, and that's it. And uh, now we're going to check out the other one. And yeah, try and get our money's worth. It is an unreal view from the top. The renovating. Yeah, it's an unreal view from the top. It's an absolute must do. 500 steps seems like a long time, but it, you do it so quickly. You just gotta push through the top and then just enjoy the view. Even when you're up there, if you're just there to take pictures, just take a second, sit down, make the most of it. It is unbelievable. It's kind of a one in a lifetime thing to do, so take all in. The water's cheap. It's only 15,000 for a bottle. Big bottle. Despite the tourist population though, unreal. Really, really amazing views. They were right. They said there was the Heilon Bay of the inland and I think they hit it pretty spot on. figured out why it's dead. Everybody likes to come for sunset because we are just leaving. The sun's going down and everybody is showing up so it's starting to get very busy. Mm -hmm. So that's it, we figured it out. We, we're just not a fan of sunsets. <laughs> we love the sunrise. Sunrise. Awesome. That's yeah. where it's at. Winners. The tour buses have arrived. Yeah, we are leaving right now. See ya! What we have decided to do though is we're not completely leaving. We've yeah. mapped out a route mm -hmm. that goes through. <gasps> this goes! That goes through <laughs> here and then goes through and stuff. So we're going to do that on the way back instead. Hopefully, with the sun setting and the mist and everything, we can get some good shots doing that instead.
So we started driving through the hills and now there is the biggest grey cloud that has come upon the area. So we are going to try and get out of Dodge as quick as possible. Yeah. got to the point where I physically just couldn't see the road, no one could see the road anymore and you literally just had to pull over, so we're just going to have to wait, wait out a little bit. So, um, we're waiting for the we're waiting for the snow <laughs> we're waiting for the rain to stop and uh, sat came across the road and asked the people here if we could have coffee and they let us in and they look like they sell stuff anyway but they've given us two coffees um, and we'll just wait for the rain to die down a little bit we've got like a couple hours to get to hanoi so we'll just take our time it's still daylight for a couple more hours so Nice little adventure.